Hey, hello, what's up everyone? In this video, I'm going to teach you about what are all the different good and bad combination of money. So before beginning, if you guys not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon and click the like button. And if you guys have any doubt after watching this video, please do mention it in my below comment section. Okay. And yes, please do like and follow my Facebook community page, Parikshit Astrology also. So let's begin. Now coming to the, the good combinations of money. So first of all, the first and most important house is the second house. Why? Because see guys, second house represents your bank balance or salary. Now, it also represents your family, but that is secondary. Coming to the money part, it represents your bank balance or your salary. So the next important house is the sixth house. Why? Because sixth house represents your job. Okay. So from the job, you'll get that particular salary or income. Now, after that, important house is the seventh house why because seventh house represents your business it also represents your partner or your partnership business it also represents your opponent why because see guys if you do business if you put some investment in the business you'll get the returns so that's all about the seventh house now the next important house is the ninth house why because ninth house represents luck or support or god's grace so from that you'll get money. Now it also represents your father. From father also you can get money. Now the next most important house is the tenth house. Why? Because tenth house represents your name and fame. Through your name and fame you'll get money. But it depends. Some other combinations are there for that also. So bad name cannot bring money for you. But good name can bring money. So that depends upon the other combinations also that I'll tell. So the next important house is the 11th house after the 10th house. Why? Because 11th house represents the immediate house after the 10th house, which shows your income or gains or overall profit in the business. Okay. It also represents money from your friends. So that is your 11th house. So these are all the good houses for money. Now coming to the medium houses, that is the average house, which means neither good nor bad, like 50, 50. Okay. 50% good, 50% bad. Now, coming to the medium house. So, the medium houses are first house. Why? Because first house represents yourself. You need to put your, uh, what you can say, yourself into the particular work in order to get the money. Okay. Next important house is the third house. That is the medium house is the third house, which represents your effort. It represents your communication. Through your effort or through your communication, you can get money. Now, next important house is the fourth house. Fourth house represents your education. Through your education, you can get money. Or through your real estate or uh, land business, whatever you can get money. Next important house is the eighth house. Because eighth house represents your in-laws house. It also represents your other people's money. So through that, you'll get money. It also represents black. Okay, black money or illegal. So these are all the medium houses. That means one, three, and eight. Now, coming to the bad houses for money. So the bad houses for money are fifth house. Why? Because fifth house is the loss of sixth house. That means it's 12th from the sixth house. See, if you want to get job, you need to have sixth house. Okay. In the planet or in the nakshatra. So that's a different topic I'll uh, explain to you guys later. But generally, 6,000 you need to have if you want to get money. Why? Because if you do job or if you do some uh, service to other, you get money, right? So that's the 6,000. What if 5,000 come? It's 12th from the 6,000, right? So you'll get loss. So 5,000 means loss of money, okay? Then comes the 8,000. Why? Because 8,000, it's again, it's uh, not even too much good or too much bad. See, why I told uh, 8,000 for the medium means it's other people's money. Okay, that's good. But you need to return that money again. Okay, if you're taking money from other people like loan from bank. Loan from the bank is seen from the 6,000. But 8,000, you need the support 
from the bank. So support from the in-laws. If you are taking money from them, okay, like a uh, uh, dowry and all this nowadays dowry is not there, but still from old uh, practices, uh, eight house was taken according to the dowry. Okay, next important uh, bad. So the next bad house is the twelfth house. Twelfth house represents the loss. Eight house represents your obstacles. Okay, so five, eight, twelve. These are the bad houses for money. Eight house. See, uh, it can be a medium also bad. That depends upon the combination. Now. Coming to the planetary placements and position, how to see these things for getting money. So first of all, let's say for example, your Aries ascendant, okay. For Aries ascendant people, the good houses to get money are second house, sixth house, 10th house, 7th house and 11th house and even 9th house, okay. So those are the planets which give you money guys. So second house and 7th house Venus will give you money. You can just check it. And six those Mercury, Venus and Mercury will give you money unless and until it should be placed in particular houses that I will tell. Next is the ninth house, which is uh, Jupiter and then another two houses are Saturn. Okay, 10th and 11th house. So Saturn, Jupiter, Venus and Mercury. These are the four planets for these people who are all having Aries ascendant will definitely get money during the Mahadasha or Antadasha. You check it, guys. Definitely, you might have got money during this planet Madasha ruling. Okay, that means Saturn, Venus, Mercury, and Jupiter. Now, another thing you need to check is that let's say, for example, your Jupiter is ruling the ninth house lot and twelfth house lot. Okay, for Aries ascendant example, and sitting in the uh, seventh house, that is in the Libra, also sitting in the uh, Chitra Nakshatra, let's say for example. Chitra is ruled by planet Mars. So for these people, Mars is ruling the houses of the first house and the eighth house, which is again the medium. Here again, eight become bad, also medium. So you need to take medium here in this case. Why? Because first house has become already medium, which means self. So for these people, they should not spend money or not give money to other people during the Jupiter Mahadasha. Why? Because see guys, Jupiter since ruling 9th house lot and also 12th house lot, sitting in the 7th house lot, sorry, sitting in the 7th house. Why? Because see Jupiter ruling the 9th house lot and 12th house lot sitting in the 7th house, which shows 7, 9, 12 combination, which means that 7 and 9 are good. Okay. But 12 represents the loss. And the Nakshatra is Chitra, which is again Mars ruling first house and eight house, you need to check Mars placement also because the Nakshatra uh, planet Lord becomes important. Chitra is ruled by planet Mars, uh, where Mars is ruling the first house Lord and eighth house Lord. Let's say for example, Mars is sitting the second house, which shows that 218 becomes important. Again, for these people, they will get money uh, in a very good way and also they will spend, okay? Why? Because 12,000 is involved and also 8,000 is involved. That's why. And 7,000, 9,000 and of course, uh, f first house and second house are good for earning money in a good way related to that particular house during the uh, Madasha of Jupiter. So like that, you need to check it. Okay. Now, these are the combinations like that you need to check for earning the money. Now, let's take an, another example. Let's say for example, you are in Gemini Ascendant. For Gemini Ascendant, Moon becomes important. Why? Because it's uh, ruling the second house. Lord and next important uh, planet is uh, Jupiter. Mars becomes important planet for this uh, Gemini Ascendant in terms of earning money. And then next important planet is Saturn. Okay. Why? Because Saturn rules the ninth house lot. Also the eighth house lot. But eighth house becomes medium here. But ninth house is the Mool Trikona for Saturn. Next important uh, uh, planet uh, is Jupiter again because uh, 10th house dot and then Mars again. So for these people, Mars, Moon, Jupiter, Saturn, these four planets will give money. So let's say for example, if you are running under Saturn Mars for Jimmy Ascendant people. So your Saturn is ruling the 8th house lot and 9th house lot. So let's say for example, if your Saturn is 
sitting in the sixth house, which is again good, which shows that eight, nine, and six are the combination for earning good amount of money. But again, here eight is involved. You need to remember that, which means a lot of obstacles and hard work. Now, let's say for example, Saturn is staying in Vishakha nakshatra and Jupiter's nakshatra in the sixth house, which is in the Scorpio. Okay. Now, Jupiter, let's say for example, it's ruling your 7th house and 10th house lot, which are good for Gemini in terms of earning money. Okay. And let's say for example, Jupiter is in the second house, which is exalted, which is again very good, which shows that you a lot of money during the Saturn Madhasha. But here, 8th house is there, which shows that through astrology you learn, through uh, behind the scene you learn. So, like this, you need to interpret and learn okay so yeah uh, i'll show you some uh, example charts so that you clearly understand okay uh, so literally i have entered some random data and i have shared you guys okay now coming to the uh, combination of getting money so when this person will get money see guys this is the cancer ascendant okay for cancer ascendant the important planets are planet sun planet jupiter planet uh, saturn planet mars and planet venus so these are the five planets which becomes important in terms of earning money only okay why because the second house is ruled by planet sun and sixth house is ruled by planet jupiter seventh house is ruled by planet saturn again eighth house is ruled by planet saturn but here saturn becomes uh, me, uh, medium okay and then uh, why because uh, it's a multi recognized in the 8th house then comes the 9th house ruled by Jupiter then comes the 10th house ruled by Mars 11th house is ruled by Venus now generally how to interpret so you need to see the planet placement through uh, house and then you need to see the nakshatra also okay so see guys first of all Second house, Sun, I told you, important. Jupiter, I told important. Saturn, I told important. And Mars, I told important. Finally, it's Venus, okay? So, particularly, let's say, for example, this person is running under Jupiter's Madasha. So, let's say, for example, whether the person is getting money or not uh, in this Dasha. Let's check it. Let's interpret. Okay? So, first of all, you need to check the planet's placement, okay? So, where Jupiter is sitting. So, here in this case, Jupiter is sitting in the ninth house, guys. Okay. So, since Jupiter is ruling the sixth house lord and ninth house lord, sitting in the ninth house itself shows the person will definitely earn a lot of money in this Jupiter Madasha. It's already indicated. Okay. Now, coming to the nakshatra, guys. See, guys, Jupiter is placed in Revati nakshatra, which is the Mercury nakshatra, okay. So Mercury is sitting in the 11th house. Again, it's a combination for money 11th house, right? So Mercury is ruling 3rd house and 12th house. So these two are not so good for earning money. But since it's sitting in the 11th house, it will give definitely a lot of money, okay? And one thing the person needs to note down here, guys. So Jupiter combination is 6 and 9 and Mercury combination is, since Jupiter is in Mercury and Akshatra, which is Revati, Mercury combination is 3, 11, and 12. Okay? So, did you get it? So, finally, uh, all these combination, if you take, so, 6, 9, 3, 11, and 12. So, 3, 6, uh, uh, 9, 11, and 12. So, through these houses, or with the help of these houses, the person will earn money. Third house means effort. Sixth house means job. So the person might have changed their job from the current job or from the previous uh, job or the person might have changed their post. Okay. Uh, chances are there. Or can went into different designation or role, something like that. Okay. Since Jupiter represents teacher, the person may be in teaching sector because third house represents communication. Sixth house represents service to the students like that. Uh, ninth house represents uh, your uh, God, ninth house represents religion, ninth house represents 
you can tell uh, support from other people okay jupiter represents teaching education higher education ninth house so like that 11th house represents gains from that 12th house represents loss 12th house means uh, like uh, what you can tell some people will be there talking behind like that. those are the 12th house and 8th house stuff okay so that's how you need to check it okay so if you're new to my channel please subscribe below or else i'll see in the next video so if you want any consultancy please to contact my given below whatsapp number or else you can even mean me also so until and unless thank you bye bye love you take care